Okay, welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm going to be doing a Design Spark mechanical tutorial, and we're going to be showing you something that I learned. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, give reference where references do here. Um, let's go ahead and minimize this. This is something I learned from uh, watching a, a really talented artist. His name is uh, Kyle Houchins, and he has a website called Rhinoceros 3D. And what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you how to create a part in Design Spark Mechanical. And then we're going to be getting a uh, part to actually use that's already modeled on McMaster Car. So we're going to go ahead and create this part in um, millimeters. So we'll go ahead and go to um, Units, Design Spark Options, and we'll go from Inches, and we'll make this uh, millimeters. So we'll go ahead and click OK. Now we're going to just draw a quick part here. Uh, we're going to do this 20. It's going to be 20 millimeters. Then we're going to go ahead and get another circle, create a circle up here. Uh, this is going to be, we'll just do 7 millimeters. Okay, now we're going to get this tool here, which is our tangent line. And we're going to go from the curved part of the circle that we just created over to there. And then we're going to do the same thing over here on this side. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and get it the circle tool. We're going to go from center and we're going to type 3 millimeter. Okay, now you're going to go ahead and go uh, get your trim away tool. We'll trim away that. Oh, actually, no, you need that. Okay, and then we're going to let's add a smaller uh, piece over here. So we're going to go ahead and put a circle here 3 millimeter. And then we'll create a bigger circle to there. Make this one a little bigger. We'll make this 10 millimeter. Okay, now go ahead and get your tangent line. We're going to go from there over to here. And we'll do the same over here and go from here over to here. Okay, so this is going to be our part. Now we're going to go ahead and create a circle in the middle. Just make this 12 millimeters so it's nice and even. Okay, now you're going to go ahead and um, get your spin tool. We'll spin that a little bit. Go to pull. We're going to pull this 20. Then we're going to pull these. Hold down the control key 10. And then we're going to pull this 12. And click on that one, type in 12. Okay, so this is going to be our part here. Uh, let's move this down a little bit. This is kind of too high. So we'll hold the control key down. Let's drag this down a little bit. So we'll drag it down four millimeters. <clears throat> okay, this is this is better. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get these screws for these. So what we're going to do is, is go to McMaster Car, and I already have that page open. <clears throat> and we can just start from uh, this search up there. So we'll start again so you, I can show you guys how to do this. So we're going to go get an M3. So we'll come over here to M3. And then we're going to go ahead and get a, uh, let's see here, we're going to get this one right here. Six millimeter, or let's get a 10 millimeter. Um, and then we'll get the uh, diameters. These are all five diameters, but that's okay. We'll go ahead and click there. You click this blue part at the end next to the price, and then you go ahead and go to your download, and then it's going to download as a steep file. So we'll go ahead and um, open that up in the folder. We'll minimize. We'll minimize the drawing program, and we'll drag this to the desktop. <clears throat> then we'll go ahead and close this. So we'll go back to... McMaster car so and then we'll close that so what you can do is if you want another file format you click there go down to this drop down menu and this will have uh, all kinds of files it has PDF it has an IGIS it has a SAT <clears throat> it's got a, a native SOLIDWORKS file DWG DXF and a 3d step that's the files that I use and um, so now you can go ahead and go back to your design spark mechanical <clears throat> we'll go ahead and get that file to bring it in the screw 
So we'll go ahead and click on the file right there. We're going to change the file type over here to step. We'll double click on this one because we know that's the one. We'll hit OK. And then we'll go ahead and click and move this out of the way. So this is our file right here. This is our screw right here. So basically what we want to do is to orientate it. We're going to select it. And come over here in the, in the uh, structure tree. Click. We'll click off of this first and come over here and click. And now we'll go Control Plus. Now we want to rotate this on the red arrow. So we're going to rotate that. 180 degrees right there okay so this is this is our screw there that we need so we'll go ahead and control minus and now this is already modeled for you you don't have to do anything to it so you just have to go select it and then you're going to have to come up here to the anchor point and you want to go anchor point center and then you want to go move up to anchor point center Okay, now you want to go grab that blue, and you just want to drag it up. Okay, so now you've got your screw in the part that you didn't have to model. It's very uh, very handy. And then if we want to put another one there, we'll go through the same process. You just come up here to the file. We'll import our screw. <clears throat> Click OK. We're going to grab that red and drag it out of the way. Now we're going to rotate. We're going to grab that red there. I'm going to rotate it around 180. Now we're going to select it again. Go up here to your second one. Now we're going to go to the anchor point. Go to anchor point. We're going to change it. I guess you can go from the center there. And then we're going to go up to, we're going to go up to this anchor point there. And now we're going to move. We're going to grab that blue. I'm just going to drag it up. So now you've got the two screws that you needed and you didn't have to model these. Um, very handy to have. So now you've got a model here. Uh, and if you want to move one of the screws, you can just come over here to move and then go ahead and we'll grab our, if it's the blue is hard to get to, just go ahead and rotate, go back to move, grab your, your blue and just kind of drag it down. So we'll go, Drag it down there so it's close to the end. And then we'll grab the blue there and drag it down. Okay, and that's going to be our part. And now you can go ahead and uh, add your uh, any of the things, the details that you wanted to add. Like you can go ahead and put a 0 0.5, 0 0.5 fillet in there. And then you can add your, do your fillets here. And then we can put one right here. <clears throat> okay, and like I said earlier, this is not something that I uh, figured out on my own. I actually learned it from a uh, talented uh, artist who makes some really cr crazy, crazy good models. And his name is Carl Houchins, and he has a website called Rhinoceros 3D. And he does a lot of uh, training tutorials that are very, very good. So this is going to be um, this is going to be the end of the tutorial here. Um, hopefully you enjoy watching and you got something useful out of the video. Thanks again for watching.